Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. What I want to do in today's video is talk about two ideas that apply in a lot of car electronic systems. Turbo boost control, idle speed control, even fuel injector control are all related to what I'm going to talk about. So what am I going to talk about? I want to talk about duty cycle and I want to talk about frequency. Now before you go, oh they sound terrible, I don't want to hear anything about those. These are really straightforward ideas and as I say they're applicable in a whole range of car systems. So to illustrate how these ideas work, I want you to picture a simple circuit. It's got a switch in it and it's got a light bulb in it. When you close the switch, the light is on. When you open the switch, the light is off. Simple as that. Now, I want to show on a graph whether the light is on or off. And that's what I've done here on the whiteboard. Up the top, it means it's on. Down the bottom, it means it's off. And we've got time on that axis. So let's have a look. The light is on for that length of time, and then we switch it off. It's off for that length of time, and then we switch it on. It's on for that length of time, and then we switch it off. It's on. It's off. Okay, so we're just switching the light on and off, and it's a digital signal because it is either on or off, as indicated by that, that square wave that we've drawn. Now, we're repeating. We're repeating the on-off sequence. So let's break it down into each cycle, each repeat of those events. So on, off, okay? That's one cycle, that's one event. On, off, there's another event. On, off, and there's another event. So you can see that it's a repeating sequence of events, and that's important because anything that has a frequency associated with it, one of those words, is a repeating event. It's happening over and over again in, in repetition. Now, let's just take one of those cycles, one of those events. What proportion of that event was the light on for, and what proportion of time was it off for? Now, if you look at the graph, you say, oh, it's on for about half the time. Well, that's the other thing we're talking about. Duty cycle is what proportion of the time is it on for within that cycle. Here we have a 50% duty cycle, approximately. The light is on for half of the time. If we turn the light on for a shorter period, so we had it on for only that much, then it might only be a 10% duty cycle. On for 10% of the time, off for 90% of the time. Fuel injectors at idle are typically only running one or 2% duty cycle. They're off for 98 or 99% of the time. So the duty cycle is the proportion of time that the thing is actually switched on for compared with what it could be. Now, these repeating events, let's put some times on this bottom axis. Let's say that's one second, that's two seconds, that's three seconds. So you can see that the events repeat every second. Now, repeating every second, another way of saying that, is a one hertz frequency. Hertz means cycles per second. Easy to remember sometimes to think of it as cycles per second. So here on the whiteboard, I have a signal on off of a light, but let's call it a signal, makes it sound better, which has got a one hertz frequency and a 50% duty cycle. So the frequency, how often it's being turned on and off, the duty cycle, what proportion of the time is it actually on for? Now, those are the two ideas that apply with boost control valves. They usually use a fixed frequency, say 100 times per second, but they vary in duty cycle. That applies to idle speed control, often used a fixed frequency, but they vary in duty cycle. And more complexly, complexly it also applies to engines. Now, as the engine speed goes up, so does the frequency of pulsing of the injectors to keep up with those intake strokes. Uh, so it's a varying frequency signal, and it's also a varying duty cycle, duty cycle signal, the proportion of time the injectors are switched on for. Frequency, the number of times per second the event occurs. Duty cycle, what proportion of the overall time is that device switched on for? Those two fundamental ideas apply across a range of car systems. The book's called Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. I cover the idea of frequency and duty cycle in that book. I also have um, oscilloscope uh, displays that show varying duty cycle signals actually measured on a car, varying frequency signals actually measured on a car. And that helps paint the picture in your mind. Car Electrical and Electronic Systems, thank you.